of the web page is called ui testing okay understood what is ui testing so ui testing is same web page is responsive this mo most of our most of the time all the web pages are responsive they if they are a good websites and <clears throat> they are automatically adjusted according to the different screen sizes the text font size your image sizes if i am opening the amazon site on a uh, laptop then three or four images will be coming side by side because it is a bigger screen but if i am opening the same thing on a mobile then mobile screen is a small screen i can if i am having four images side by side it will be very very little little tiny images and no one will be able to look into it so what do they do they shift the image to the next line okay so in that way we can say that our web page is a responsive web page if we are opening it in a different dimensions okay so now today we will be discussing that particular thing only that how to open the web page in a different dimension and how to test whether my uh, page is a responsive page or not responsive page okay so let's try to do one demonstrative example i am do only doing all these examples in a demonstrative way and then you can practice it on any kind of a website many websites are available so if for the practice purpose you can use any web page and you can try by your own <coughs> so let us try to write one example today uh, we have to open the browser that is we have to extend the page i'll make a web page by the name of test now when we have created this page dot java we have written one line driver dot manage dot window dot maximize what was this line doing it was maximizing the my, my web page to the full screen of the laptop so it means here what was the resolution taking it was taking the automatically resolution of my laptop if it is opening on your laptop maximize will take the maximized screen of your laptop maybe size may differ your and mine and you know, mine is different so it will automatically take the resolution of the full screen okay so here when i am writing open browser say chrome and for the demonstration i am using this website only w3 schools you can use any website so the, it will open this particular web page to the full screen of my laptop so it means it is taking the ui of laptop so it is opening the web page on a laptop now if i want to open it on say iphone so i want to open it on iphone so i can open I, if i write open browser two times it will open the two browsers again if i write open browser chrome same page i am opening but i want to open it on iphone so if i go and inspect the element anywhere and like this and if i click on this button it will open and act from here i can select some device which i want to select say iphone se only or iphone xr okay 
market or iPhone X, S, whatever it is, what is it? So I will get the dimension 375 by 667. So again, I will write this line driver dot manage dot window dot instead of maximize I will write dot set size so I want to set the specific size and here I want to set the dimension so I will write new new dimension and what is the new dimension I want to take 375 375 comma 667 new dimension you can import from org.opencover.sly it is a class so here i was writing driver dot window dot maximize instead of writing maximize whatever resolution you want to open on you can just write the set size and the new dimensions. So it will open now two browsers, one with the full screen and another with this dimension. So let us try to work on it. You see, I have two browsers opening up and with different resolutions. Here, if you look at it, I am getting this element menu. Okay, where I am getting these options over here. But instead of in this full screen, I am getting menu bar. And here, you can look at the this one text size also learn to code it is it is bigger in size and learn to code this one is smaller in size and also here if you see learn html video tutorials html reference get certified are coming one after another but if i look at it here here you see so here uh, this one is coming with this html examples but here this, this this is not coming html example only this is coming this thing is not coming this one html example text box so it means look and feel has changed according to the device according to the device it is giving giving in different way it is giving it in different way understood okay now what i want to do i want to test 
the responsiveness of this particular page okay so how to check the responsiveness of this page whether this is having the element or not so again if i and if i so what i want to do that if i am opening it in a mobile version then i should get this element menu this one so i'm inspecting this element menu so i'll just use this title is equal to menu here i can create my own xpath because here id is not available so i should create my own xpath title is equal to menu so instead of copy xpath i will try to create my own xpath okay so i will just write web element m1 is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath i'm not want to click on it i just want to get the reference of the web element which element double slash star square bracket add the rate title is equal to men so i want to inspect this element by the uh, this one title is equal to m e n u m is capital title is equal to m e n u so i have to make m capital so now if it is laptop then this m1 will not be visible so what i am checking that if m1 dot is displayed so it means it should be it should not be displayed so if m1 is displayed then i will give the error message because on a laptop this menu button should not be available so i will write else <coughs> pass similarly same test i will write over here if cm2 is displayed then we have to pass it because in a in a mobile i am expecting that this should display pass menu button button displayed on mobile f menu button not displayed on mobile so understood what i am trying to show so basically i am just going to show that if it is opening on a mobile then this button will be displayed menu button this one and if i am not opening on a mobile then this menu button will not be available here you see if i am opening on a this one version then then only this menu button is available here on a mobile version 
if i am opening on a laptop then this button is not available so it will give me the idea that is it is opening in a right way or wrong okay so again again i'll do it So two browsers are opening again with two different dimensions. So you see, let us look. So now you see two browsers are opening up one upon other below one is a full screen and above one is a resolution which i have passed here i am getting the menu button above one but here below one i am not getting the menu button also the sizes learn to code is different as already it shown you you can also test this thing that here I am getting HTML and now I am not getting the example. Here, if you look at with the HTML, I am getting the HTML example also in the full screen, but in a mobile version, here I am not getting the this HTML example, it is hidden, it is not available in this version, in the mobile version. Only this HTML is available. This one. So and also you can compare the size text font etc so you, in that way you can check whether my web page is responsive or not by opening the web page in different dimension and then you can check the font size size that that is here what should be the font size what should be the font size you can check the some things like here this html example should be available here it is not here it should not be available or like we have given this example here menu is available and here it is not available so i have run this example and if you look at it again so you see both are passing here menu button is not displayed on laptop and here menu button is displayed on laptop or oh, sorry on mobile okay understood what we have done we have opened this particular page with a laptop and iphone open browser in open browser i have written the dimension here i have not written the dimensions it will take the maximize speed i have find the element menu so if element is displayed then i have written that it should not be displayed on a laptop otherwise otherwise pass same thing here one more thing one more thing i want to get the style again if you go to w3schools.com what is what is the style like i am getting here the background color this font color is white this font color is yellow here i am getting the underline okay here this text box is having this curves okay this is having green color in the background when i'm taking the mouse it is giving the background color as black so and font sizes are different this html font size is different so all these things web designer has designed this particular page so for all this designing purpose that is setting the color font size background color underline etc 
they use the css css means cascading style sheet with html tags they uses the css to style the page now we do not know the css no problem no need to know the know the css but if you want to check the style what we can do like i want to inspect this learn to code first of all inspect the element whose is style you want to get like i want to get the style of this learn to code when i click over it i get the x path of this particular element below the below here where i am getting the html code you also get this styles here you see these styles are written in here in the, in the bottom window these styles are given and here you can check font dash size font dash weight font dash family these are called css properties okay font dash size font dash weight margin font dash family all the styles are coming this one in the red color are css properties color text align background color all these are called css properties so i can get the style of the element by using these css properties like take an example again i want to get the get the style of element so first of all i have to inspect the element jiska style nikalna hai like they and every time you have to inspect the element like if you want to get the style for this then you have to inspect this text if you want to find the style of this text then you have to again inspect this element so it means for each element you have to inspect you want to i want to get the style for this element whatever the element you want to want to get the style you have to inspect the element first and when you inspect the element you get the style here i am getting the background color green color white and i am getting other other information the all these information for this element i am getting if i inspect the element this one here then i will get the style for this element if you see i am getting text decoration underline so if this text is underlined so i am getting the style underline for this so do be element whatever element you inspect you will get the style below so now let us write web element text or i can write heading text is equals to driver dot find element y dot x path you do not have to click on it you have to just get the style basically so for that again i want to get the style for this element so i have to inspect the element first so here id is not given so i will use this text learn to code Double slash, star, square bracket. Text is a function. Is equals to single quotes. So I have inspected this element. And now, I do not want to click on it or type on it or get text from it. I want to get the style. So for that, I will use heading text dot. get css value there is one method called get css value all these are predefined methods get css value like here is displayed is a predefined method which checks whether the element is displayed or not displayed similarly now i want to get the style so the method is get css value and which css value i want to get 
for that you can check from here i want to get font size here font dash size this is called css property font dash size so just write font dash size and it will fetch the font size from the web page and it will return the string format data a string not in so you have to store it in a string say font size like this similarly so for every element you have to inspect the element first and then you can get the style but you, for different style you have to write again and again like again i want to get heading text dot get css value now say i want to get whether it is center or not so you can check from here so you can like scroll down and you can check all the styles it is available and you can check from here like here text align so this is a property name text align center text dash align so i'll use this text dash align and it will give the output the text align one more thing these are the, this is important thing to understand these are the styles which web developer has already applied you know like in a font size font weight font family you know uh text align color all these are the styles which are which, which the web developer has already applied on a web page but if you want to check some other style <coughs> maybe <coughs> some style he has not applied so you will not find the style over here say if i want this text to be underlined learn to code he has not applied that rule underline rule so in styles you will not get this underline rule over here only all only those styles which has it which he has applied you will get only those things so if you want to get something extra which is which he is not applied over here then what you can do you can again go to the google.com and just you can write all css properties like this and you can go to this site and you will get all the css properties like these are all css properties and from here you can check what you want to say what you want say i want i want some border but border is not applied so i can click on this border i can get the rule and i can use it for example i'm just using one uh, example for the underline so for the underline now this is a very big list yeah and you have to you have to search from here one more show, one more thing you can do just go to the google and just write css rule for underline underline and it will give you thus this that it is text dash decoration and now and then you can copy because you do not know the css you can just write on a google page whatever whatever you want to get css rule for anything whatever you want to get for border or for for an banner uh, this and a uh, uh, list item or anything whatever you want to get or you can search from here so now three ways are there either you can search from here whatever he has written uh, or some things are he is missing out then you can and you want to test it then again you can write from here like i have used the string underline is equals to heading text dot get css value 
and but you do not know what is my CSS value, so I can Google it or I can search from my net and just I can write text decoration. So I'll come to know okay, text decoration is a value through which I can get the underline. Now, how to compare it? This is my actual data, but I have to check it, compare it. That that is whether this is right or wrong. So I can check if text align dot contains say center center and ul dot contains underline then I am passing it that is I am expecting that this text align should be center and this text should be underlined so if it is if, if it is returning center and this is returning underline then I will pass Now it will it will fail because it is not underlined but only for your understanding I am just printing this printing this so that I'll come to know what 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 is the what is the output laptop font size Align underline like uh, one more thing if you want to get the font size for the laptop, then also you can use this same. For this, if I'm opening on a laptop, then also you can get the style. So, so X path does not change when we are opening it on a on a uh, different and uh, resolutions, or if uh, I'm opening it on a different kind of a browser or a different kind of the device, X path does not change because background code will not change; it will remain same. So, X path will be, will be same, style will be same. Everything will be same. So just I've changed the variable name, and again I'm just writing only printing it for your reference. Okay. So let's run it and check it. In that way you can open the web page in any kind of a resolution dimension and you can check the availability of the web element by using is displayed or you can get the different styles and you can compare them.
optimize this step from here. So you see, laptop font size is 70 pixel, align is center, and underline is none. So it is not underlined. So it is saying underline is none. So it is getting the information from the web page and fail. And in menu button, mobile font size is again 70 pixel. So in that way, you can get the data from the style information from the web page that is called UI testing. Understood? Okay. So one more thing. In our last classes, what we have seen how to click on an element, how to type on the element, how to get text from the element. Okay. And today we have also discussed how to check whether the element is displayed or not, whether it is or uh, and how to get the style for the from the element by using the CSS properties. Okay. So now one more thing. There are some special actions like mouse over action keyboard action drag and drop action double click so like uh, uh, i i am taking my mouse to some element like uh, uh, take example if i go to this times of india site and i take my mouse to the city india video so this is my my mouse over i am not clicking on the element if i click on this element city then it will open the city link so click is a different event and mouse over is a different event so on a wedding web pages i get this in mouse over event also or when i take the my mouse to this the image is expanding and, con and uh, contracting in that way. Colors also change. Like in previous example, I was taking mouse, so it was changing the background color. So that is called mouse over event. Okay. So now in this mouse over event, how do we, how do we work? How do we do the mouse over event? Another thing is, like I can use some. some if I go to this Google again, last example, and I search pizza. 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 Okay. Then instead of clicking over here, what I can do, I can also click the enter button of my keyboard. Instead of clicking, now it is not giving me the result until I click somewhere, which we have done in our last class. Instead of that, what I can do, I can also use my enter key button and click on this enter key button of the keyboard and it will give me the result. So it means I can use the keyboard events. Here also I can use tab here. This is a tab. So I can use this tab. I can use escape, escape. So these are the buttons we, we can use while working on our page. This is called keyboard event. Okay. So, so to use mouse over event, or drag and drop event or keyboard events we use one special class called actions class so let us give an example for that so i am giving one example for mouse over first
कंट्रोल सी एंड वाई एम ओपनिंग द ब्राउजर क्रोम एंड टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया डॉट कॉम वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू आई वॉन्ट टू टेक माई माउस टू दिस सिटी एंड वेन आई एम टेकिंग माई माउस टू दिटी देन ओनली दीज सिटीज आर विजिबल इफ आई एम नॉट टेकिंग इट देन इट इज दे आर नॉट विजिबल एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू क्लिक ऑन गोवा so this goa element will be available only when i take my mouse to this city so first of all i have to inspect the element on which i want to take the mouse there are many element india is there world is there this photograph is there i can take the mouse anywhere so i have to first specify the element where i want to take the mouse so i want to take my mouse to the city so first of all i inspect this city dot find element by dot i it, you can also use other things it's not compulsory to use by x path only you can use now i can uh, uh, i will use one more thing called link text yeah. by dot link text so this is a link what is a link where we click and it opens the different url and that is called a link so this is a link so i can also use by link text and what is a link text city this one city so this is my link where this hand is coming up this hand is coming up this is a link wherever this hand is coming up this is a link okay city so i want i have inspected this element driver dot find element by link text city so return web element city web element already told is a reference of the element on a web page now if i write city dot i will not get any mouse over option i will get this click which we have already used i have used this in a is displayed i have already used with you okay to check the availability or send keys we have also used to type on the element okay and other things like get text we have also used to get the text but no uh, no method is available for mouse over over here so how to take the mouse over for that we use a special class called actions class actions a is equals to new actions and in brackets we write web driver object so actions is a class coming from selenium library this is a package we have to import which performs a special action like if i write a dot then you will get again click but again you will get something like click and hold double click double click drag and drop so you will get some special events from here which is were which were not available over there like here key down key up move to element so i want my mouse to move to the element that is take my mouse to the element so i will use this method move to element and which element city dot perform will perform the action so it will do mouse over and then i want to click on go up find element by link text go up so this go up will be available only when i take my mouse to the city okay understood so let us try to run it
this is mouse over has been performed and test clicked on this goa link okay here you see it has so it has uh, done very fast so you can check the recording so you see it will uh, has taken the mouse over to the uh, this city and when the city is displayed it has clicked on this goa link okay one more thing okay this is how you you want to whenever you want to take your mouse the step number 1 inspect element element on which to take mouse and then use actions class method okay this is the action class understood one more thing i am showing you that is drag and drop you know what is drag and drop drag and drop so i am say i want to visit this page page and there i want to drag this is stephen king i want to drag it is inside the horror section i want to select this stephen king and drag to the sport section here is sport this is called drag and drop so in on many websites you get this drag and drop feature also where you it can uh, like in a some in a sheer uh, sheer in a market type of the sites so you can like and you want to shift something from when a uh, purchase and then a selling you can drag and drop so this is called drag and drop so again i have to inspect the element which i want to drag and i want to inspect the element where i want to drop so again if you look at my example i have already written it so you can watch it already we have know how to make a class extends page create a test method open browser name of the browser and the url to open then what i have done i have inspected the element stephen king so find element so i have written web element and you can give any name i have given the name as drag the, the element which i want to drag again i have inspected the element is old where i want to drop so again it will return the web element any name i have given the name as drop now to perform this action i will use again this actions class like i was using mouse over and in actions class there is a method drag and drop so this is a method coming from this actions class where i will put this drag and drop dot perform will perform the action like here dot perform is compulsory to write move to element will move the element to the mouse and if you want to do drag and drop then drag and drop is a method coming from actions class where you have to write two elements which you want to drag and where you want to drop understood i will run it and you have to show you can check it So now it has Stephen King. It has moved from horror to the sport section. Now,
I will also show you the demonstration of keyboard event. Now, what is a keyboard event? This is a mouse over. You see, here also this is mouse over. When I am taking my mouse, then uh, these options are coming, and I want to click somewhere. So you can practice anywhere, like this. So many sites you will get to practice. Okay. Uh, now one more thing. Say again, I will go to this W3 School site, and I want to click on this tutorial. Now I am using this tab button. You see, this? I am clicking tabs one time. Then again, I am clicking tab another time. and then i am clicking on enter button enter so i am not using my mouse i am using my keyboard so let us try to write this same example now i want to use the tabs so again i will use this actions class now there is a method in actions class that is send keys now this send keys if i am using with web element web element dot send keys so it will do the typing like we have done in our previous examples that is when we are want to type on a text box we were using send keys to type on a text box but that particular method was not not coming from actions class that method was coming from web element but now here this agree is the same method name send keys but this method is coming from this actions class so what it will do it will send the keys to the page like keys dot this one keys dot and you will get all the keys from here all the keyboard keys arrow keys your delete command control enter escape है ना एफ वन एफ टेन ऑल द ऑल द कीज विच आर अवेलेबल ऑन अ की बोर्ड दे विल गेट द नेम ऑफ दैम होम की इंसर्ट की ओके ऑल द कीज यू विल गेट पेज अप पेज डाउन ऑल द कीज टैब नाउ आई वांट टू क्लिक ऑन दिस टैब सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस टैब टैब ए डॉट सेंड कीज कीज डॉट टैब डॉट परफॉर्म वे परफॉर्म द एक्शन Again, I want to click on this tab two times. I want to click on this tab. Then I want to click on this enter. Keys dot enter. So in that way, whatever key you want to press, a space bar, tab, escape, you can just use keys dot. and it will perform so this is how you can use the actions class for mouse over for drag and drop for keyboard event and for double click etc also click and hold sometimes there is a event like i want to click and hold on it click and hold for all these events you will be using this actions class
ओके जस्ट अ लगे दैट इट इज इट Move the tab two times. Just a second. Acha, we have not used dot perform with the entry. Hence, it is not performing. It has moved the tab two times, but not entered here. Tab is moved, but not click the enter because I have not written dot perform. Dot perform is compulsory to write. That only it will perform the action. that is perform the enter key also move the tab two times and then click on the enter key and it is working without any uh, inspect element or something like that now last thing for today's session say i want to fill up some forms when i fill up some forms say i want to go to this when when you fill up the some some registration form etc you get this drop down list this is called drop down list from where you can select some element you cannot type on it you cannot type on it all the things are inbuilt and we have to just select from any one of them like this so how to automate this drop down list this is the this is another example i am showing now what i want to do i want to ye to simple hai you can type on them no problem these are the text boxes you can type on them the check boxes read you button we have also shown in times of india again you can just click on them and it will work but the here here if i click it will just open this list then i cannot click inside this list here i cannot inspect the element whenever i right click to inspect the element it will close okay so if i take the x path of this element inspect yes sir so this is a select tag and inside the select tag there are the option tags from where all these options are coming so this is select tag okay so i have to inspect the element for this select tag not for this option copy next so i will copy the x path for this select tag
now if i click on it what it will do it will just open this particular but what i want i want some options to be selected options xpath you cannot take here option xpath you cannot take so now if i want to click on this assam what to do for that we have to use another class like actions class if there is a drop down list then we have to use this select class select so i will say give the name as select list and select is a class so select is a class in which we will be passing the reference of select tag from where options are coming so i will get select list and select scl is a new select to pass the object over here and then select dot select by visible text select by visible text so what is this this is the visible text all these texts are visible so i want to select assam so the method is select by visible text assam so let us try to work on it is it assam is selected okay and if you again inspect it one more way one more way if you inspect the element you see this is the value is equal to is the attribute value is equal to the option is a tag option is a child tag of select tag from where all these options are coming so uh, andhra pradesh is a visible text what attribute this is called attribute value is equal to is a attribute so value is andhra so you can also select the value by the like here arunachal pradesh is the lengthy so i can use only arunachal in that way so you can use andhra only to select the andhra pradesh instead of writing complete andhra pradesh i can use the value also value is equal to andhra so this is also right or we can write select by select by value this one okay and what is the select by value and so value is a attribute value is equal to so select by value you can also work select by visible tag select by value so this is the andhra a n d h r a n d h r a n d h r so it will also work Andhra Pradesh is fine. So we'll keep up to here. So I think today's session you have understood. Up till now, all the things I think you have understood how to uh, 